in this video i'm going to be giving you a step-by-step -step guide based on my own experience because yes i have experienced white patches i'm going to be telling you the causes like what actually triggered white patches on my skin and how i got rid of white patches so if this is something you'll be interested in definitely do well to keep on watching Hold me close till I get Hey amazing people, welcome and welcome right back to my channel. This is Sunita here with Very Smiley Face. If this is your first time, hi, if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back to this very one. See, I love it a whole lot when people like you watches my video and they need fit to drop me video suggestions and then comments and all of that. I dropped um, a video like three days ago as of when I'm filming this video. Somebody commented and said I should uh, talk about treatments for white patches and how to actually prevent white patches. Going to be telling you three causes of white patches as well as preventive measures and treatment okay so white patches is a skin condition that is also known as vitiligo and vitiligo is a long-term condition where pale white patches develop on the skin the very number one cause of white patches on the skin otherwise known as vitiligo is lack of pigment known as melanin on the skin lack of melanin production can actually trigger um, white patches yesterday i i talked about how i got white patches and how i got rid of them i'm going to merge the two um, videos together so that you guys will have a clear understanding of where i'm actually coming from so now white patches can be triggered by certain skincare products third reason why you probably have white patches is genetic older people that do not even use skincare products they also have white patches if you check it very well it's hereditary so if you have white patches in your family your mom has white patches your dad has white patches there's possibilities that you have white patches take me for instance my mom has varicose veins i also have those veins some of these things are hereditary so when you find yourself in this category of person who inherits like certain skin conditions from fathers or our family try to be comfortable in them i know some of these things can make one really devastated at the end of this video i'm going to be listing out products you can actually use in order to help get rid of white patches vitamins you would need or supplements you would also need to help you know get rid of white patches now people who are likely to have white patches are people with sensitive skin so how do you prevent white patches i'm going to first of all talk about how to prevent white patches and then i'll go ahead to tell you how i was able to clear my own white patches now there are skincare products that contain certain skincare ingredients or certain ingredients that triggers white patches now i tell people what you need to know first of all is your skin type then after knowing your skin type know the kind of skincare products that works for you get familiar with products that are used to formulate these lotions in order for you to stay on the safe side i use myself as a case study almost every time i film videos okay i have a very sensitive skin Kojic irritate my skin. There's a certain because we have different types of um, kojic acid. Now there's a particular kind of kojic acid that irritates my skin. Carrot also irritates my skin a whole lot. It gives me white patches and it also gives me um, black, you know, bumpy skin. Which is why I don't ever, ever try to use carrot, what be it on my face or my skin. Because even if I use it on my face, I have like um, you know, my, my whole cheek here will be, in fact, you, the reaction is not funny, it's not always funny, so that is why I stopped it, like, way back, even before I started off this YouTube channel thing, okay, so which is why I tell people, it is highly important, the only way to be able to prevent white patches or any um, skin irritation or any skin reaction from any skincare product is by knowing your skin type. The second way you can actually prevent white patches, you guys is doing, I don't know if you guys can hear me, the second way you can actually um, prevent white patches is by running a patch test. Now, some people know their skin type, but they don't know products that still works for them. Okay, it is common for people to, with sensitive skin to know product that works for them, but it is annoying when um, people with sensitive skin still do not know product that works for them because people with sensitive skin get a whole lot of reaction here and there. Most times, even the cream you're currently using by next month might start reacting badly on your skin. So, which is why you have to be very, very familiar with the skincare ingredients that aligns with your skin type. So, yeah, another way again, like I said, is by running a patch test. When you get a product, before you go on ahead to use that product, on your body try as much as you can to run a patch test you can you know run a patch test behind your ear or your feet or any area that is usually not exposed to sunlight is basically just run a patch test to know the, uh, if a certain skincare ingredient works or a certain skincare product if you're introducing a particular lotion or particular skincare 
in your skincare routine you need to run a patch test it's very very important that you run a patch test apply them gradually by so doing you cannot advance to applying them three two times daily but like i said you need to apply it behind your ear or on your feet and you can do this for three days and if it does not irritate your skin by all means go ahead and start using it okay now the third way that i personally don't forget i said these are things that i have tried that worked for me so um that's what i'm sharing with you okay <clears throat> The third way I prevent um, white patches is by, you know, not using too much of lightening ingredients or lightening products. My bathing soap is not a lightening or whitening soap. I use either a moisturizing bathing soap or just hydrating body soap or a treatment body soap. That is what I use. I don't go ahead to use whitening scrub, whitening soap, and then whitening lotion. Um, after this, video, I'm going to film a video showing you guys what i use and why i use them and if that's the video you want to see let me know down in the comment section because i've gotten a lot of questions as to you know um what i'm using and all of that okay yeah these are the ways i prevent white patches because in fact i'm a fan okay i'm a fan so um if you're using a lightning product a lightning cream please by all means your shower gel or your, your bath soap should be a hydrating bath soap or a treatment bath soap basically a soap that is targeted to meet your skin needs okay um if you have dry skin your soap should be you know dedicated to your kind in fact your skin concern that is what i'm trying to say now the only way the only one way this is just a very very simple step what i just did to get rid of my white patches now the only way i got rid of my white patches was that i discontinued with what, what, what i was using at the time i think i was using city plus clear therapy after um pure white gold i, I started using city plus clear therapy and trust me the white patches was was very very visible it was bad very bad not just white patches i also had like bumpy skin and all of that so um i just stopped using the six plus clay therapy i bought an oil and i started using even my bathing soap then i changed it to a very mild soap and i started using um i changed in fact i changed my entire skincare routine whatever it is i was using at the time i stopped using them that was how or like in two weeks i started seeing that the the white patches started fading away so they don't we don't have like a specific um i don't know if there's any maybe you guys should correct me down the comment section but i don't think there's a specific um you know um treatment solely dedicated for white patches unless somebody wants to eat your money so if you're um if you're facing or battling or struggling with white patches the only thing i can advise is that just continue with whatever it is you're using like as soon as possible and start using something different now the oils are very very important at this point you need moisturizers we have different kinds of moisturizers out there maybe you can try out for now you can try out a year you can try out olay you can try out um, anybody lotion that has vitamin c maybe dr teal just try out meat like hydrating go for hydrating products go for moisturizing products go for brightening products stop using the whitening product you're currently using because by so doing it will furthermore irritate your skin don't say oh okay since they said we should change our skin routine or skincare products so let me not use um pure white again let me use let me use pure white gold or let me use city plus clear therapy don't change from what i'm saying is don't change from a whitening cream or a lightening cream to another lightening cream you obviously need something that will help treat your skin so you need all them you know either dove shower gel that is very very mild and is very hydrating is very good for dry skin is very good to correct your skin and then um skin success also can actually help to repair your skin revive your skin in a way so yeah when you are battling with this you don't need to um what i did was just basically like i said i changed my skin color routine to hydrating more of hydrating products rather than or as opposed to the lightning product i was using then like for my scrub what i did was i started going for scrub that contains vitamin c or scrub that contains hydrating ingredients yes there are scrub that contains hydrating ingredients you can also go for scrub that contains um coffee or you can you know settle for scrubs that contain like um aloe vera um argan oil honey like scrubs like that will also help to treat your skin so again when you're battling with white patches you don't need to change from your whitening um skincare product to whitening to another whitening skincare product you just need to get rid of those things first and by so doing you need hydrating products 
as opposed to your whitening product i don't know if this makes any sense so yeah um, for the vitamins you obviously will need to help clear your white patches other than the cream you you need um vitamin 12 um vitamin c vitamin d you also need folate supplement that will help restore your overall skin health okay folate supplement can also help restore pigmentation on the skin and also improve your overall skin health you can also use lotions that contain vitamin c or vitamin a or any of these vitamins i've listed like i said i'm going to make a video i'm sure david must have watched the video okay i'm just coming back from church i'm really really very exhausted so i just thought to film this video happy sunday to you all i don't know if this video can make it to day if it can like i will know that i'm still that super woman okay um yeah i hope to see you guys in my next one very very soon don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel i'll see you guys in my next one very soon bye